the Silk Road is a marvelous historical trade route, connecting the East with the West, and is a tourist route that attracts numerous tourists. During the route's prosperous period, brave trade caravans started from Chang'an, a capital of ancient China, passed through the Hushi Corridor, crossed over the Pamirs and eventually reached Europe. The Silk Road in Gansu Province is over 1,600 kilometers long and accounts for one-fourth of the entire Silk Road in length. Also, there are numerous historical relics and varied landforms here. So Gansu is called the golden part of the Silk Road. Passing by Tian Shui and Ping Liang, two major portals along the Silk Road, Travelers move westward, passing by Lanzhou, Wu Wei, Jinchang, Zhang Ye, Jiu Qian, and Jia Yu Guan, and reach Dunhuang. These famous historical and cultural cities being linked like a string of pearls. Tian Shui is the cradle of the Chinese nationality, where Chinese people multiplied and grew civilized. Here was born Fu Shi father of Chinese civilization, for whom a national-level grand public memorial ceremony is held here every year. In Maiji Mountain, which looks like a stack of wheat, there are over 7,000 sculptures made in different Chinese dynasties. Here, tourists can have an overview of the artistic history of Chinese Buddhism and enjoy the most exquisite Chinese sculptures. Kong Tong Mountain in Ping Liang is renowned as the number one mountain of Taoism. It is the mythical site where the Yellow Emperor, also known as Huang Di, or his given name, Xuan Yuan, sought advice on administering the country and how to stay in good health from Guan Chengzi, the progenitor of Taoism. Lanzhou is the only provincial capital that the Yellow River passes through. The beef noodles here deeply impress the never satiated tourists. The beef noodles, the Qinqiang Opera, the ancient water wheels and the sheep hide rafts constitute a scene of unique folk customs in the city. The Yellow River originates in Qinghai and takes shape in Gansu as it flows for 913 kilometers through Gansu province and forms various wonderfully engraved landscapes by eroding the banks. The Yellow River Stone Forest in Jingtai is a grand and magnificent canyon stone forest within the long, winding Yellow River. In northern China there are three gorges of the Yellow River, whereas in southern China there are three gorges of the Changjiang River. Here you can see the well-known Bingling Grottoes, mist-covered high gorges and huge lakes, the Danxia Stone Forest with thousands of peaks, rare dinosaur footprints and migrating birds in flocks and flowery Taiji wetland, which jointly constitute the magnificent wonders of Linxia Hui Autonomous Prefecture, lying in the upper reaches of the Yellow River. Linxia is also the hometown of Hua Er, Flower, the folk song popular in northwest China. Ganan, a land of snow and Buddhism closest to China's hinterland, if one could say that life is a predestined yet unexpected meeting, let's come here to feel the power of faith and experience a land that lies between a fluctuant mountain chain and extensively shaded steppe to feel our souls soar free. Heading westward from Lanzhou, we enter the well-known Huxi Corridor. Wu Wei is an ancient city with a history of over 2,000 years. The well-known galloping horse treading on a flying swallow, unearthed here, has become the tourism sign of the country. It is the legendary flying horse. The Baita Temple in Wu Wei Witness the history that Tibet was included in China. The sea of fragrant lavender make Jinchan China's nickel capital, the most romantic tourist destination along the Hushi Corridor. 
Without a look at the snow on top of Qinlian Mountain, you may mistake Ganzhou for a place in the south of the Yangtze River. These two poetic lines talk about Zhang Ye, an oasis in the Gobi Desert, which is well known for its colorful rock mountains in the Zhang Ye Danxia Landform Geological Park, one of the world's top 10 geographic wonders. In addition, in Zhang Ye, there is the largest and oldest royal stud farm in Asia. In ancient times, there were flying apsaras, and in modern times, there is the aerospace industry. This makes a vivid description of Ju Qian. Ju Qian, a city closely related to alcohol. Guo Chu Bing, a senior general during the Han Dynasty, poured the liquor granted by the emperor into a spring and drank it with his warriors. Since then, the city has been called Ju Qian. If one heads westward along the Hushi Corridor, one can see the ancient Silk Road and the Great Wall, which meet at the foot of a snow-capped mountain in Jiayuguan. If Dunhuang can be called the crossroad where the world's four major cultures meet, the Mogao Grotto should be called a sacred cultural temple of humanity. The Mogao Grottos consist of over 700 caves, over 2,400 sculptures, 45,000 square meters of wall paintings, and over 50,000 Dunhuang documents, constituting a Buddhist paradise in the oasis of the Gobi Desert. Here we have a travel back to 2,000 years ago. The wonderful architecture and decorations, together with the beacon towers along the pass, encourage one to strike up a vivid dialogue with history. The long winding camel caravans, the never ceasing crescent spring, and the wonderful great Yardan landform are all breathtaking. The once difficult journeys and treks along the Silk Road have become past memories. The Baolan high-speed rail has solved the last kilometer problem for China's high-speed rails traversing from east to west, forming a high-speed rail Silk Road in western China. Perceiving a thousand years at one step, covering 10,000 li at a glimpse, the once arduous trek and trudging journey on the Silk Road has become memory of yesterday. Today, countless tourists from home and abroad are going on the golden section of the road, seeking a spiritual homeland of the Silk Road civilization and recording a new chapter of communication in human civilization. Silk Road in Symphony, Gansu in Harmony.